What's going on guys, your boy Amazing, we're back with another video, and in today's video guys, me doing another Nick K video. I wanted to do this video to let you guys know how you can run Nick K, uh, with the best settings on Bluestacks, because my last video uh, was just when I was getting into the game, so I didn't really know the best specs, or not the specs, but like, best, uh, you know, configurations you want for your Bluestacks. So, what you guys want to do, um, if you want to get the download link in the description, you can download using my link. It's going to help support me. It's also going to get you guys the game as well. Uh, so, definitely make sure to click the link in the description. But what you guys want to do, when you're creating a Bluestacks instance, you want to go to new instance, go to fresh instance, and make sure you create a Pi64 bit. That's going to be very important because if you're running Bluestacks on like the new Git, um, it's not going to run as well as Pi64 bit. So that's like the first thing I wanted to, you know, kind of discuss. Um, but we'll, we'll open up my uh, Pi64 bit. I'll show you guys my settings that I have on, on this as well. And then I'll show you guys the gameplay, uh, just, just so you can see that it, it runs super smooth, but yeah so what you guys want to do download the control screen orientation app too so like when you go to google play literally just search up this and it's going to be uh the uh, apps one you don't necessarily have to get that one but like any you know control screen uh app that can like force full screen your game download that and then you're gonna you know obviously download nikkei or if it's pre-installed through my link then you'll have it um, but now if we go to the settings, I'll show you guys the settings I'm running. I'm running everything on high here. Um, you can probably change some of the settings here and I don't think it'll be too bad, but, um, I do have enable frame rates on high. Um, this is going to be my display settings. So you want to make sure your, your resolution is as high as can be. These are my display settings right here. Uh, and in terms of like the resolution, you want to make sure it's kind of on high. Um, and the reason why I did this is you guys will see in the game, it's recommended for Nikkei that you run like as much, like as high resolution as you can. So the higher, the better. So if you do like 2,500 or even like 1920 by 1080, it'll be fine. I just run it on this cause my PC can handle it. Um, and then, yeah, these are going to be the settings right here. If you want to screen share in discord, uh, make sure you have it on interface render software and then it's going to be on OpenGL on default. And then, yeah, from there it's basically it. I don't think your device really matters. Um, other than that, it should be okay, but yeah, that's literally it. And then, uh, we're going to open up Nikkei and I'm going to show you guys the, you know, how the game actually runs on my blue Sacks five on the Pi version, uh, going full screen. Right. So uh, yeah, we'll wait till it loads up a bit. I'll, I'll honestly, I'll put it in full screen too. So we'll click, we'll toggle full screen here and I'll show you guys the game in full screen too. So just to give you guys an idea, it does look a lot better, uh, in my opinion, when, you know, you run your game in full screen and stuff and it looks, it, lo it looks really good in my opinion. So yeah, I thought I'd do this follow up video to my last one though, just because I know a few people in the comment section were like, Oh, it's, you know, it's crashing on my, on my blue stacks. Like, how do I fix that? And this is going to be the way to do it. This is going to make it run so much smoother for you guys. And I don't think you'll have too much of a, you know, a problem after you've done this. Uh, so yeah, yeah, let's let the game load. And then, uh, once we get into the game, I'll show you guys the gameplay and also my settings in game too. If you do want to change your settings in game to kind of match mine, uh, so you can have the, uh, you know, a similar experience as me, uh, when we are actually playing the game. So, uh, I'll cut to when we're done the loading screen. Cause this, you know, the beginning of loading, it takes a minute. Uh, we'll cut to when I've done this, but uh, yeah, man, I'll see you guys when we get to the, uh, gameplay. All right, guys, we loaded into the actual game now. Now that we're here, I can show you guys my settings. So we'll go to settings. And these are going to be the settings that I run when I play on my Blue Sacks 5, right? So you guys can already see it, like, run super smooth, like, in terms of, like, my feel. Um, but these are the battle settings that I run. Turn screen shaking off. It just helps so much. Like, just do it. Um, and then these are going to be my settings right here. So fog level zero, physics effects on, obviously, high 60 frames, high on the models, all that. And, uh, yeah, guys, that's basically that. We'll do a campaign stage. I don't think I'm going to beat it. But I just want to show you guys like how well it runs when you do it in this, you know, in this manner, basically, um, compared to like other emulators, whatever the case, but the game runs really well. So I, I do, I do like that when you run it on the Pi version of Blue Sacks 5, um, it does run, you know, a, a lot better than you'd think. Right. Um, so yeah, so let's hop in here and we'll try this campaign stage. I've been stuck here, so I don't know if I can beat it, but I'll just, just to show you guys the gameplay, we'll do a run, right? um but yeah i would say this is probably you know the best emulator out for it at the moment i mean uh i think on their website they recommend ld player but from my experience if you run it with this setup on blue Sacks 5 um it is gonna be a little bit better you know, in my opinion so we'll just have this wait till it loads up and then uh we'll hop into the fight here so let's see let's see there we are 
Yeah, you guys can see it, lo it looks really uh, nice too as well. So that's another thing that it looks really good about. So yeah, that's the gameplay. Uh, you know, it looks, looks pretty smooth. I would say so myself. Uh, but yeah, guys, that's Blue Sox 5 and uh, Nick K on Blue Sox 5 with the best settings possible for widescreen. Uh, I'm dying, as you guys can see, because uh, I'm not meant for this stage, but... <laughs> Yeah, it, it does look really good though. So yeah, I just wanted to do this video just to show you guys that it you know it runs well on Blue Sox 5. So yeah, man, that's gonna be it for the video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe as always. If you guys want to see more videos like this, definitely let me know in the comment section below. And I'm gonna see you guys in the next video. Peace out and have a great rest of your day.